All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000. This is Brother Yerushalam coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. The name of this one is Salvation is not based upon physical features right this is a response to the elder you know the beloved elder elder monatis akba out in south carolina all right you know um basically you know he was doing um a video based on yeah basically you know the elder was um so lucky about that it was you know basically um doing a response or doing a um a video based on this um this woman, you know, basically being out of order on comment board, all right, you know, and um, pretty much, you know, being carnal, all right. On you damn women. Let's see if you can pull this up here. Let's see if I get better quality. It's already on high picture. All right. So what basically what she's saying, she was saying, you know, basically Shalom. I think what it is also about in the fact of that all these posts and lessons all over are only showing visual pictures of a certain kind of looking woman, like long flowing hair, that in a certain texture or grade, lighter skin, certain body type, and doesn't look as the average black woman. So basically, you know, she's trying to she trying to judge the um the brothers, you know, who do the artist depictions of the how Jake would look in the kingdom. All right, you know, and the elder went and wanted to show that in a way this is this is talking about you know that this is an artist's depiction, you know, the idea, you know, and his imagination on how we how how we're gonna look in the kingdom. Right? You know, it's not a judgment on how we look now because hey pretty much, you know, as the elder apostle said, you know, we are not this decrepit um, body. Right? This body is true, corrupt, polluted. Alright? A lot of us have sicknesses, men have pot bellies, women have flat asses, women sick. Um we have um all sort of all sort of um ailments uh women having um uh, fibroids you know men having problems with the prostate you know all these different sicknesses and and deformities you know and what and what not you know women having no hair okay all right all these things you know is a, is a result of what the flesh but the brothers you know never never be never, never say that in a way you have to look like a certain kind of way you know to be saved all right you know that that's just foolishness and it's a downright lie you know if she's coming with that you know you know basically let me, let me read a little blue along here it says um um we all come we all come in different characteristics just like the men are all different features so we feel unloved and unaccepted and like, yeah she just being hurt and emotional right and out of order because she shouldn't be coming on the comment board talking all this shit. and then and at last you know i'm not gonna go down all day because she's telling the elder not to delete her, her message that's the truth you know but she, was it true that she she out of order right you know and she not being cut she not being spiritual all right because really and truly you know if, he, if she really was spiritual she wouldn't have made such a comment because she would understand you know what the what the brother's depiction really meant you know but we don't we we don't study the the, the, the present we study the future the scriptures say our conversation is in heaven all right you know you don't have to look like a certain appearance all right, I have a lot of Israelites who look like different, you know, as the yeah, let's say some look like Albinos, you know, but at the end of the day, what happened? We all be changed. And this is exactly the message and the, 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 the message that we that we teach, you know, from the elder apostles on down. That we're gonna be changed. Lord willing. Alright, so let's get um some precepts here. Go over some of the precepts that the that the elder went through. Lord willing I'll bring out some some others and you know this video will be edifying. First Corinthians 15. And verse, um, verse 50, it reads, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the heavenly Father, neither that corruption inherit incorruption. Why? Because the bodies, this flesh, the body is corrupt. Right? And as we're going to see later on, you know, you know, um, the flesh is what keeps us in sin and keeps us, you know, so why are you focusing on the flesh? So, you know, long hair and all this kind of bullshit. Those are just the same um, Jim Crow shit, black shit, you know, black Negro shit, you know, 
that that um that we've been taught you know he's still in the world and it's true that that's exactly what they are listening and it's very true it's it's correct right first corinthians 15 and 51 says behold i show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed right we shall all be what we shall be changed so why are you focusing so much on how you look now you know you have a lot of israelites who look like um speckled bird who look like so-called white people who look like elamites so-called east indians who look like ishmaelites you know who look like um moabite chinese who look like ammonites japanese and who look like hamites all right because we've been scattered you know the scripture says you know it, it's the spirit the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high so why why the preoccupation with with the with, with now you know how you look all right you know you should just be in a car now you know and really we don't really have time for you for you know for this woman and their attention seeking um um charades all right first corinthians 15 verse 52 it says in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump right for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed we shall all be what changed transformed right you know when we hear the true transformers you know um matthew 24 31 you say you know you know scripture talk about that you know when the lord gonna come um let me see if i get that book of matthew like in matthew 24 and verse 31 it says what and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet all right and they shall gather together his elect from the four corner winds of heaven from one end of heaven to the other so when he let go up into those chariots, guess what? They're going to be changed. They're going to be transformed. You're going to be transformed, Lord willing. All right? That's just facts. Okay? That's just facts. Now let's get the book of um. Let's get the book of Philippians. Let's get the book of uh, Philippians, chapter three. Uh, start at verse seventeen. It reads, "Brethren, be followers together of me." And mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example, right? For many walk, as of whom I told you often, and now tell you even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of a Mashiach, right? They're enemies, right? You know, whose end is destruction, whose power is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things, right? So, you know, whose end is destruction? Because, you know, why at the end of the day they don't. They don't they don't love Yahweh Shah Mashiach not for him. Why? They have no faith. They don't have faith. They don't believe. And a lot of these women fall within that ca category. It says whose end it is its destruction, whose power is their belly, right? And, and that belly going into what? The appetite. The appetite for worldly things. And whose glory is in their shame. Right? In their shame. They only think about what? This life. How uh, um here on earth, you know, who mind earthly things? You know about how fat they are how tall they are how short they are, how skinny they are you know if they have a flat you know you know a flat a flat ass you know if they have a broad nose all right <laughs> these are the things that they that they, that they focus on you know it says for our conversation is in heaven that's where our conversation is supposed to be from whence also we look for the savior our lord yahweh shia mashiach so that's where that's how we supposed to be thinking about what spiritual things right why? Because this world is going to pass away. It says, who shall change our vile body? Right? Change our what? Our vile body. So the body now is vile. So we don't, we not, we don't put any stone on this body. Yes, we know we take care of our body because that is wisdom. You know? And the body is the temple. But at the end of the day, this body is going to be changed. And this body is what, you know, causes us to go off. Um, vile. Vile. It says, extremely unpleasant right right because we have all manners of sickness and infirmity you know um the body has an appetite for sin it says foul nasty unpleasant bad disagreeable horrid dreadful horrible abominable all these things describe what this flesh you know disgraceful appalling sickening disgusting all right you get the idea so the lord is going to change that vile body and that's what we're looking forward to right so be perfect it says that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body work according to the working whereby he's even 
he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Now the NLT says, he will take our weak mortal bodies and change them into glorious bodies like his own, using the same power with which he will bring everything under his control. And this is the same thing that um um this is the same feeling that um King David had. This King David, you know, nothing new under the sun. King David, what he wanted the, the change, you know, from some way back then. Psalms 17, verse 15. It reads, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. What does that mean? That's going to the truth. Right? Behold the truth in righteousness. I shall be satisfied. Right? So King David was longing for what? For what? The change. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Whose likeness? Likeness of Yahweh Shia Mashiach. Which is what? The change. You know? The change. That's what I was going into. Okay? Now let's go back here. So basically our conversation is in heaven. What do you mean what? Our manner of life. The way that we live. The things that we, we think about. You know, we, you know, we know, we thinking about the change. We, we, we focus on that. That we have in our eyes single on this truth. You know, on, on, on the Lord, you know, be, being counted worthy. You know, working out our salvation with fear and trembling. And being counted worthy to be beamed up into that chariot. Alright? And in many scriptures you can go to. Well, let's go and hit a few of them. You know, where you can, where basically, you know, it shows the Lord changing us. Malachi chapter 4, verse 2, it says, But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness, who is that? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. What? Arise with what? Healing in his wings. What? Healing how? You know, heal from what? Oh, this flesh, this body. All right? You know, and when you go into Revelation 21, it tells you that death, you know, is going to be done away with. All sickness, all pain. You know, and, and, and this is what the brothers be saying. So where did this woman come up with this nonsense from? Alright? It's just bullshit. It's more bullshit. Just this woman looking for attention. Alright? But they're going to get attention soon. But not the kind that they're going to like. Alright? It says, um, But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with what healing in his wings. And he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So how is I going to rise with the, with, the, with the chariots? And you know, as you're beaming up into each other, they're gonna be changed. So why the, why your preoccupation with how you look? It doesn't matter how you look, you know. I have a lot of people, other Israelites who are gonna look all different manner of ways. And they go into um Revelation 7, it talks about the massive multitude. You know, where the apostle John couldn't couldn't even recognize that they were Israelites. Why? Because they look like all different nations under heaven. Alright? You know, so then that, that's where this black only bullshit comes up. You know, do you why? You know, there's a lot of Israelites who look like the white man, who look like all nations. And then there are a lot of other nations that are looking like, like Jake, like so-called black people. So that's a tripping stone, it's a stumbling block, you know, to those who are, who are not the elect, you know, who are not chosen. All right? And you're focusing on, 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 on you know, your hair, maybe you're wearing a wig, you know, and all these other things like that. You, you, you have an arm, these push-up bras, you know, because really, really and truly, you know, you don't like yourself. You know, you're not pleased with yourself, you don't like yourself, you, you basically hate yourself. And and you and basically you're, you're insecure, you're insecure within yourself. All right, so that's that's what that's going back into. All right, and it says um. So when it says um, you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Then that's going into what the Lord taking care of us and and to the, the power that we're gonna get, you know, with that body. All right, because a calf represents a calf is a is a is a is a young bull, a young cow, you know, which. The cow represents what strength, power. All right? So that's what we're looking forward to. We ain't looking forward to no bullshit, you know. Um, Job again. Job, look forward to this. Book of Job, chapter 14. And verse 14, it says what? If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time. In other words, it's different reincarnations. Right? Yes, reincarnation is true. Will I wait till my change come? Till my change come? Right now in the NLT it says, um, can dead live again? If so, this would give me hope through all my years of struggle. Which is not the best, the best translation. It says, and I will eagerly await the release of death. Right, you know, this, this, this flesh is death. You know, this flesh is death. You know, you know. That's what going on. And, 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 this, and that, that lady, I'm sure she heard 
men, men I will do a break it down, you know, before, you know. But she just been out of order. She just wanna come on and 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 hear her, her grouses. That has nothing to do with the wood. No, we don't wanna hear your your grouses. You know? We do you, you caught up in this world and the things of this world. You know? And and really this this truth in this truth requires a change of it encourage it in, it requires you to be what converted. Alright, but let's go to the book of Galatians. Book of Galatians chapter four and verse nineteen. It reads, My little children, of whom I travail in birth again until Hamashiach be formed in you. Or formed in you how? First, first and foremost, in the spirit. Alright? Now the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Holy Spirit come and dwell with who? Jake of the elect. Alright? You know, that's that's where why the scripture talk about a down payment. You know, the Holy Spirit, you know, is given as a pledge, a, a guarantee, a down payment for what? That change. Right, the scripture say we have this um this um wood and that's roughly paraphrasing in what earthen vessels. So we, we have the pledge and the down payment right now, the Holy Spirit for what? For that change. Right? Now the Holy Spirit is, has to remain in us and, and take seat in us, you know, until that day. You know, which gonna which gonna arise as a as a, a sign, you know, to the holy angels that you know we are among that number. You know, but you know, first and foremost you have to be what converted. The Holy Spirit not gonna dwell in a malicious soul. Right? A soul that's only focusing on the flesh and the things of this world. Alright? Now let's get to the book of um Romans. Book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 20. It says what? For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willing, but by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. Right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord put us in this flesh, which are chains of darkness. It says, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption, right? Which is what this body, this flesh, this corruption, according to uh, um, Romans 7 chapter, the apostle Paul went in on it. You know, you know the, the battle, the battle, this is the condition of the battle that we begin to fight. You know, you know, the bondage of corruption unto the glorious liberty of the children of the heavenly father, which is what? Being redeemed from death and decay, this body. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, right? They're waiting for what? And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruits of what? The Spirit, right? So the Spirit will come first. Then we ourselves groan within ourselves, even we ourselves like a groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our bodies, right? Now in the NLT it says, Verse 23, and we believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us, right? So some of you don't have the Holy Spirit. That's why you can come on, come on board and behave like that. You know, especially for those who won't repent. The elder said that, you know, she came on, come on board before. You know, with another foolish um, comment. Alright, it says, um, as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering, right? You know, uh, you know. Being start thinking about this world and things of this world. Alright? You know, which are all which vanity, sin. Alright? The scripture said the scripture the, the, the creature was made subject unto vanity. And especially a lot of these women. You know. The scripture talk about the woman and sin. Alright? They have a long history together. It says, For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when the Heavenly Father will give us our full rights as his adopted children, which is what? The change, including the new bodies he has promised us. Right? Beautiful. Right? Beautiful. The new bodies. So why why being why be caught up in this world? When you know at the end of the day, you know, this is the condition of the battle that we're fighting right now. You know, the, the hell that we all the hell that we're going through. The Lord the Lord basically is going to take it away when he gives us his new bodies. Second Ezra seven and 57 it reads then answered he me and said this is the condition of the battle which man that is born upon earth shall fight that if he be overcome he shall suffer as thou hast said but if he get the victory he shall receive the thing that i say which is what the new body is the immortality right psalm 49 goes on to that you know the the glories of of living forever without pain without suffering without death all right yeah, and this is how we overcome the world. You know, when we go into the book of uh, 
Let's get the book of First John, chapter five, verse four. It says what? It says what? Uh, for whatsoever is born of the heavenly Father, right, overcometh the world. How are you being born of the? You mean you're born again? You be converted, all right? You know, for whatsoever is born of the heavenly Father, how how are you born again? Not born back to your, your mother's womb again. You know the scripture says to what? Um, be be converted. Right, Matthew eighteen and three, and he said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven. Right, Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Right, change your old ways of thinking. Your old, your old ways of sin, you know, the manner of life, right? That, you know, the, this, this feministic approach that all these women have is going to bring your destruction, you know? It's going to bring your destruction. It's not going to serve you well, right? Because the scripture says, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So a lot of these women are proud and haughty. And that's what they're going to be served with. What? Destruction. A, a big plate of destruction. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Hashem, you know, now is the time of refreshing, refreshing, right? So you're supposed to repent first and foremost and be converted, change your manner of life, change your way of thinking, all right? This is what you're supposed to do, right? First John 5 and 4, for whatsoever is born of the Heavenly Father overcometh the world, right? So you are the gift of the Holy Spirit and the gift of faith. So you're born of the Lord. And you're gonna what overcome the world and the worldly thinking and the manner of life of this world, right? And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So the, the faith and faith in who? Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right? You know, verse 5 says, Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Yahweh Shai is the Son of God. So a lot of these people really don't believe that Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Most High. Right? Romans 8, verse 24. We'll go back here. It says, um, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Right. So somebody and some of them can't see it. They can't see the kingdom. You know, because you know, how else could they could they be coming and talking about the you know images where the brothers putting up of the kingdom, you know? That's just brothers visualizing the kingdom. Nobody nobody's seen it yet, you know, but they're visualizing it, you know, and they're just putting it down. So you you know when you how come how come certain other brothers and sisters never had that problem? All right, they understand that hey, this is a hope that we have, you know, you know, that's not yet seen, but we believe. It says, For we, we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. But what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? Right, so if you see it, we don't hope for it. But a lot of them can't, they can't see it, they can't, they can't, um, you know, they can't visualize it, right? That's what faith enables you to do to see things that, 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 that don't appear. Right, but if we hope, is that vision that I saw? It says, "For if we hope for that we see not, then we do, then then do we with patience wait for it." So we hoping for that which we see not, you know. But we can visualize it. We can have that vision and understanding that it's gonna come. That one day we're gonna be perfect. One day the Lord is gonna change us all, right? And, you know, and 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 that's <laughs> so. A lot of these jakes, they just preoccupied. It. In, in wickedness, they preoccupy in flesh. How they look now is, you know, they believe that it'll always be like that. You know, no, we're not going to look like how we look now. All right? We've been scattered. We've been spoiled. All right? Can, it's like, it's like um, what they said in um, the Lord of the Rings. You know? They were mutilating and spoiled when they were talking about the fight in Urukai, the, the orcs. You know, mutilating and spoiled. Yeah, we've been mutilating and spoiled. First, second Peter 3 and 11. It says, um, he saw been chief in, in, in that perpetrator and that is second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godness? Everything you see around you is going to be destroyed, right? Including death and hell. When the elder went to the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 14. All right, it says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of the fire. This is the second death. So Death and hell is gonna perish, it's gonna be dissolved, right? All, all the um all the wickedness, the decay, the pollution, you know, sin, all of it gonna be left back where in Babylon the Great, you know. 
And wherever Jake is, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be left there in, in Babylon and destroyed. The two thirds, you know, gonna be left there and burned and into the spiritual realm. You know, and all the all, all the wickedness of this world, um, with Jake's who have all the diabetes, high blood pressure, high, poor eyesight, poor hearing, the low vibration on a whole, those who, who, who ugly, you know, and say, you know, the, the, the women overweight, women extra bony, men the same thing, big pot belly, all right, they not being able to focus, right, all these things going to be left there, you know, going to be done away with, all right, Second Peter 3 and verse, um, verse 11, yeah, it says that. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness in your manner of life? Not thinking about these things. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the heavenly Father, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with what? With fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, Wherein dwelleth righteousness. This is what you're supposed to be thinking about. The new heaven and the new earth. Just like the depictions that the brothers put up. You know, the, 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 the cartoon images and all these things. Alright? We look forward to it. That's just the brothers, you know, looking forward to it. Alright? Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and, bl and blameless. You know, and that woman, you know, she definitely wasn't blameless. She had a spot, you know, she... Bucking up against the men of the Lord, coming on the coming board, which she knows, I'm sure she knows that's going off. Alright, that's going off. You know, and, and um as a result she got blocked. You know. You know, and um, you know, the Lord is not going to look kindly upon you. Let's just put it like that. So, hey, if you're hearing this, repent. You know, repent. Salvation is not based upon physical features. Alright, you know, it's 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 not based on that at all. You know, you have to be converted, repent and be converted, right? It's based on spiritual, the spirit. The spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are children of the Most High, Heavenly Father. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. You know, and the Lord knows how we're going to look in the kingdom. He's going to perfect that. He, gonna, he knows what was, was it, you know, and, and, and we all going to be perfect, Lord willing. All right? So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. Till next time, Abad Babal, Shalom.